YouTube family. It is your average sneakerhead coming back to you with another video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last two videos I made. Um, still, you know, still learning the ropes with this. Still trying to kind of find my uh, footing in, you know, this whole YouTube game. But again, thank you guys for the views, uh, the likes, the comments, and subscribes that you guys had on the last couple videos. Um, it definitely, like I said, means a lot, and I appreciate you for it. Um, but yeah, let's get into uh, this video. Today is Saturday, December 7th. It is released Saturday, as many of you uh, fellow sneakerheads, hype beasts know. Um, a lot of heat dropped today. Um, it's going on what? 11:37 Eastern Time, so you know we're kind of hitting that aftermath window of when a lot of sneakers dropped this morning. We had the uh, DB collection uh, that dropped on sneakers. We had the famous Clot Mid Jordan One um, that actually dropped as well. Um, I believe the DB collection dropped at 11, and the Clot collection dropped at 10. Um, so just a lot of exciting things going on today. Um, a lot of great drops. A lot of a lot of L's were handed out. Uh, some W's as well. Um, I kind of fell on that mid ground just to give you a little bit of a hint. But um, yeah, you know, overall release Saturdays are great, especially approaching the holidays. You know, you got some heat coming out. Uh, we got the Bread 11s coming out. Uh, next Saturday, uh, so for me, that will be my uh, sneakers release Saturday of the year, um, hands down. I'm sure it is for most of you guys out there as well. Um, Bread 11, so iconic, such a you know great, great shoe. So you know, for sneakerheads alike, and, and those who aren't even sneakerheads, you know, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be going for those shoes just to rock, just to you know put up for a while, to to hold on to until summer. Um, so yeah. Just wanted to, you know, do a, a, a quick video here, just recapping some of the sneakers that dropped this morning. You know, if you guys got them, if you took L's, you know, if you're like me and kind of fell in that middle ground. Um, you know, for me, I was overall excited about it. Um, I mean, not too many shoes dropped that I, I personally were going after, but, you know, the ones that, that I, I really wanted, um, you know, I, I caught some success on it. So, I'm um, sure many of you guys who found me on Instagram under no, 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 no. your ABG sneakerhead or your average sneakerhead uh, saw one of the successes that I had that I'm very excited about. Um, hit that Nike uh, two day shipping, so they should be here for review for you guys. I want to say Monday or Tuesday. Um, you know, obviously, I'll be tracking those uh, as soon as they come in and, and hopefully can get some reviews up of those. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, just to prove to you guys that, you know, I actually did hit those shoes. I know some people, you know, they want to see that live cop video. I actually did not live cop these, um, but I did hit that got them. You guys want to proof that I actually hit on those Jordan 1 mid clots yes i got the famous got them so it made my morning um definitely happy um to have gotten those shoes i actually hit on a personal size 11 and a half um so i did have some success with those um very very thankful for that thank you nike for getting me that w this morning um just a proof there we got that purchase hopefully come on camera pick that up there we go purchased and again that's with the two-day shipping um these shoes are actually really really interesting to me um i didn't know a whole lot about them up until about the last two weeks um approaching today um overall i mean i know uh the designer edison chen is the one behind the clock collection there's always a lot of hype surrounding his shoes um they're usually very difficult to get very uh highly sought after and you know overall just a dope collaboration um between jordan and and um edison chen with the clot brand uh most of you guys have seen like his air forces that released uh the last few weeks the black pair i believe there's a clot blue pair and they all have that like tearaway silk material that comes across um you can kind of customize the shoe i guess a little bit to make it kind of look like your own um you know with these they kind of remind me i know they're not og highs uh they're mids but they kind of remind me of the sb uh la to chicago how you could kind of rub away the paint and kind of create your own um your own kind of 
design, your own take on what you wanted the shoe to look like. Uh, these pair I'll actually be keeping in, you know, hopefully as close to DS condition as possible. Um, haven't decided if I plan on putting them on feet just yet. Uh, I want to get them in hand first, so uh, they are not for sale right now. Um, I wanted to, to, to at least get a, a good review on them out there, um, get them up close and personal, excuse me, up close and personal, just to kind of see what they look like. Um, overall, just very excited that I hit that W, and yeah, just looking forward to that, that uh, <laughs> just do it tape to arrive. Uh, relatively soon um, yeah just kind of going over the shoe though I mean it looks it looks great I mean I love that red um, sole on these I love the little um, I think it's like the good luck um, I want to say it's like a good luck medallion or token coin there that's interweaved in between the laces um, and then you have that like white mixture of like silk covering over the entirety of the shoe and you have that like fading Nike to just sort of symbolize that there's something hidden beneath. Um, very, very dope concept. Um, can't wait to, to, like I said, get these in hand, check them out, you know, maybe throw them on feet just to kind of see what they look like. Um, but yeah, mids, you know, I don't know about you guys, but they've been hitting hard this year, you know, with the Fearless collection that came out or has been coming out for a while now. Jordan 1 mids are kind of hitting their stride um, toward the end of this year. A lot of people are not mid fans, they either highs or maybe they'll rock a few pair of, of lows, um, like the uh, gold toe lows that I picked up. Um, yeah, these are, you know, an interesting mix for me. Like I said, I'm not normally a mid person, but these, I think, just with that collaboration, they stood out to me enough to, to have me pull the trigger. And at $130, I mean, come on, you can't beat that. That's a great steal um, for at least this shoe, if you can grab it at retail. Um, I know the resale prices are kind of up there on these. You know, you're looking at, like, depending on size, 300 plus, 350 maybe even 4 um, and these will rise. Um, these will definitely go up, you know, as, as uh, you know, time tells when these pairs start getting in hand and people decide to hold or flip. These are going to, these are definitely going to raise, you know, their value uh, moving forward. Um, but again, just wanted to do a quick run up or recap on this uh, release Saturday. You know, let me know in the comments or... Um, you know, just let me know in the comments if you guys were able to cop these, if you guys plan on rocking them, stocking them, flipping them, um, if you want to use them as trade bait, you know, let me know if, what you guys think of these shoes.